Hey guys, test driving the 2021 Sienna LE. Quick shot. No, I'm not gonna film when I'm driving. I'll have someone hold it. But uh, I'm impressed with this vehicle. Uh, some of the things I noticed on my first test drive here, steering's a little loose, brakes are a little squishy. The uh, noise from the rev of the engine when you accelerate's a little loud, but overall, super tight turning radius, uh, smooth ride, very stable. No issues with the um, brakes feeling weird. Some people had comments about that. So I'm really, really, really happy with this vehicle. Uh, thinking about trading in my Silverado for it. It's got tons of room, but um, uh, yeah, it's very nice, very nice vehicle. So I'm gonna accelerate a bit here. Wow, I actually squealed the tires. But uh, you can hear it rev a little bit, but once it switches into gear, it's, it's fine. Very good vehicle. Feels feels a little um, light, a little like I don't want to say cheap feeling, but like a little chintzy. That's a lot of Toyotas are like that. But um, it's still. I mean, I could just see this thing going forever. It's a pretty cool display there. For uh, base model, this is crazy loaded. It's got your um, power doors here. I think it's an eight inch screen. It's got this. Uh, this cubby here, the uh, bridge, which you know darn well, that's going to get full of crap pretty quick, but it's still nice. Cup holders, super deep center console, which is nice. Let me open that again. There's actually um, some uh, if I can get USB ports there. Um, what else? Steering wheels freaking loaded with controls. I mean, I'm really impressed with this vehicle. Um, let me take a look in the back. Automatic sliding doors. Um, I did sit in that center seat. It's not that bad. I mean, if you're, uh, I'd say average to thin sized person, you're probably absolutely fine in there. And of course, it's removable. Um, and then the shot in the back. There's one up, one down, but it's typical minivan stuff. There's, there's tons of room back there. Um, some charging ports for the uh, people in the back cup holders but uh yeah i'm impressed um i do have to say the brakes are a little scary <laughs> after i drove it a little bit more and obviously you just have to get used to it but um they're a little squishy and they seem like they run on you a little bit so when you're ready to stop it seems like it floats a little bit before it actually engages which is a little unusual but uh love the black lettering they really went all out on their design um, i think you all know the design by now but just going around that uh, tail light feature is pretty sweet um it's got steel rims on it which is nice and then uh, the front it's similar to the old model but it's a little more aggressive so again this is an le i'll just show you the sticker Pretty amazing. I mean, it's 34 by the time you're done. By the time you're done with tax and everything, is about 38. But uh, very nice. Here's a shot of the back. One up, two down. It's the 60-40 uh, split. Kind of like the color of the seats too. They're not just uh, just gray. They have a little bit of a uh, texture and stuff to them. So um, very nice. These pop up. I don't want to pull them up, but it's actually pretty easy to get them up. So I mean, you can check that out on your own if you take it for a test ride. But Really nice vehicle.